morning everybody it's captain drew cavanaugh of florida inshore fishing charters mosquito lagoon site fishing charters and florida near shore fishing charters located here in east central florida ponce inlet port canaveral new smyrna beach daytona beach and today what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna show you how to change your oil on a 2022 f-150 uh, i believe lb um the parts are the same whether it's the a or the b uh if you can you're if you're lucky enough you can go to the your yamaha dealer and they have these oil change kits already there um, pre-measured with everything it's pretty cool that way you don't have to buy the parts individually um, we're doing the f-150 to f-200 four cycle outboard and you just go over here and right there um, one uses 2.8 2.7 liters so you're you know you're basically right on shows the part number the drain gasket the capacity and the kit part number. Um, these kits go, you know, 200, 250, down to 115, 75, all that good stuff. So it's almost the same thing as what we did with my Ranger, the 50 horse, then the Hughes Redfisher, the 115. But a little bit different, you know, just wanna show everybody, some people wanna be precise and look up their exact engine. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna um, take the nut out, we're gonna remove the cowling, we're gonna take the oil cap off, uh, let the air pressure out and then we're going to drain the oil. I usually drain it in a five gallon bucket um, Then I'm going to put it in a lid on it Then I'll either take it to like the fire department oil disposal or I'll take it somewhere and dispose of it um, It's metric Japanese metric Yamaha's Japanese um, 14 millimeter is gonna um, take out the nut the drain plug nut to let the oil down and drain So we're gonna do that Then we'll put that back in then we're gonna put the oil in there Put the filter in there we're going to take the filter off and all that good stuff so i'll show you here in a second let me get this drain we'll be right back okay so we got the cowling off okay he's on the top of the engine it'll show your oil filter all that kind of stuff um right here you just match that up with the kit that you bought to change your oil and you should be good to go like i said i like to remove the um you want to remove this first and then drain your oil um then drain the filter next and usually put paper towels around and all that good stuff. So, so let me get this, let me get the oil drained. Okay, so we just pulled off the other filter. It screwed off really good. You can see the, the uh, number on there maybe. So I can back up some, get this out of the way. I like to put these paper towels around there when I take it off. So I don't know if you can see that or not. Um, these new filters come pre-lubed. The ring, the gasket rings uh, got a little bit of marine grease on it. so goes on there pretty easily and that way it won't seal on there when you're taking it back off I just hand tighten it as tight as I could <clears throat> um, now we're gonna add the oil I believe like four and a half quarts 4.3 4.8 just I like to do it to where it comes to the dipstick um, like I've said in all my videos this is a good time to inspect your engine every time the cowling's off um, just look at it lube it up if you need to get all do all that good stuff don't forget to raise your engine back up when you're done. Put it in lock, turn the engine off. I'll always use a kill switch. Um, anytime you're in a boat, turn the battery on and off. You don't need it on unless you're using the boat. And other than that, let's put the oil in there. Then we're gonna start it up and check the fluid levels. And that's pretty much it. Right there, you saved yourself a couple hundred dollars from taking it to a marine mechanic. I love my marine mechanics where I go, but this day and age, there's some things you can do on your own. Um, I think the kit, between the kit, the fuel filter, and the water fuel separator was like $105, $115 right there. You would have taken that. It would have been three, $400 to do all that. So let me add the oil and check the fluids. We'll start up and we'll finish this video up. Again, this is for a Yamaha F-150 2022, but it pretty much applies to all engines. Again, I've got different videos for different engines out there. And if you ever have questions, you can contact me. All right, so we put in approximately four and a half quarts of oil, give or take. Um, it says that, but that's completely empty. Let's see here what it says there. Pretty much right in the middle right there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start up, put the headphones on with the water running. You don't want to put the hose up here and turn it on. And we'll test it out here in a second, then we'll check it again. Okay, so after about 10-15 minutes, I let the um, oil settle down in there, just let the engine cool down so it would go down to the oil pan. 
I took the dipstick back out, measured it again. It looks like it's right on the uh, perfect measurement, 2.8, 2.7. Um, uh, got the cowling back on. Just the main thing when you do this is just make sure you put everything back. Just take your time. Don't rush things. And, uh, you know, if you do that, everything should be fine. Like I said, uh, doing these basic things saves you a lot of money. Do it yourself. Um, there are a lot of things that the mechanics have to do that you don't want to mess around with, which is perfect. But uh, again, I hope these videos really help everybody. And if any of y'all ever have any questions, just shoot me an email or feel free to give me a call. And if you want to get out on some fish, right now we're in the summertime, we're on some major tarpon fishing. Um, give me a shout and uh, we'll go do that too. So until then, I want to wish everybody a great day. And this is Captain Drew Cavanaugh with Florida Inshore Fishing Charters. And everybody have a great day. Thank you. Bye-bye.